So as part of my introduction to the service, this is my surgical associate, John Fox. John's been a refractive optometrist for um, several decades now, and he's going to explain a little bit about um, who he is, um, um, how he fits into the service, providing good care for you. So John, do you want to tell me a little bit about yourself? Okay, so I've been an optometrist for 30 years, and the last 15 to 20 years specialised in refractive optometry, and seeing patients throughout the central belt of Scotland and assessing them for cataract and refractive uh, operations. John, can I just interrupt you? What's the difference between a refractive optometrist and uh, you know, an optician? So I, as a refractive optometrist, we see patients on behalf of the surgeon or with a surgeon uh, to assess them for a refractive operation. So cataract operations, for instance, would fall into that category. Yeah, I think that's important because uh, there are different types of opticians and I, I guess most people don't know that and think of their optician as the person that tests them for glasses on the high street but there are a number of specialties within uh, the, the field of, of optician work and as my surgical associate John is more involved in looking at your eyes from a surgical point of view and, and not really from the point of view of glasses or contact lenses at all. Um, John, tell us a little bit about your, you know, your, uh, your career background. Where, where, where did it start and then what, what path has it taken? So I studied at what's now uh, Glasgow Caledonian University. And yeah. um, I went on to do my pre-registration uh, year in an independent practice in Govan. Um, shortly after that, I moved through to Edinburgh and I've worked in several practices from lovely small independent practices with lots of time to care for your patient to larger multiple practices throughout the whole of central belt and uh, sometimes further afield as well. So despite all that experience, John's still young and good looking, so that's, uh, <laughs> that's very encouraging. Um, when the patient uh, of mine comes to, for the cataract assessment at, here at Stirling Kings Park Hospital, you'll be spending some time with them, right? Yeah, I, I'm lucky to have uh, easily an hour to spend to see the patient with before you see uh, Jonathan himself, I will do all your uh, checks, information gathering, some tests that you'll recognise from the opticians, some of them a little bit more advanced, nothing too off putting, but some very detailed measurements. So from that, we can then spend some time discussing how you want to go ahead with your procedure. I'll have a good idea what's best for you, and we'll discuss that and give you all the options and choices uh, to get the best possible care for you. John, as a refractive expert, is a, is a fantastic um, uh, resource and support for me uh, in that enabling me to provide high quality care for everybody, um, which means that by the time I see you in clinic, John will already have c collected all the information that I need so that we can make a decision about the best care and we can just spend some time um, uh, talking without doing lots of tests. Uh, you'll be reassured to hear that all the tests we do in clinic are non-invasive. Some of the tests you'll recognise from your, your annual optician checkup, but other ones are more specific to the hospital environment. But all of them involve shining a light in your eye. Um, they don't involve any discomfort or any real sort of touching of you, um, uh, you know, around your eye. So you, you should be uh, nice and relaxed, hopefully, when you come to the hospital. I know hospitals are always a slightly intimidating environment, but hopefully knowing that you're only really going to have a few non-invasive tests and a lot of discussion, you'll feel nice and relaxed to come for your initial appointment. Um, and uh, hopefully you'll be armed with enough information before you attend that you uh, will come away from it knowing exactly what you want to know and leaving you know, no, no questions unanswered. John, just to finish off, could you just tell me a little bit about yourself so that, so that our, our patients... Um, you know, know who you are, you know, um, um, and what your interests outside work are. Okay, well I was born in uh, Lanarkshire, lived the uh, early parts of my life in uh, Motherwell, moving through to Glasgow as a student for a little bit of time after that, then uh, moved through to south of Edinburgh, uh, where I stayed now roughly in the same area for about 30 years, and uh, married with two kids, I'm a keen piper. Um, That's a bagpiper. Bagpiper indeed. Uh, played for my local Newton Grange pipe band for many years. Now mostly do solo stuff, particularly uh, involved in a lot of charity uh, fundraising as well. 
So John, in your spare time, are you likely to be found on a mountain in the Highlands with a, with a kilt on, uh, playing easy. bagpipes for the, for the whole country to hear? Absolutely, easily. I easily. can just picture you in that environment, <laughs> absolutely. Okay, well that's John, uh, I'm, I'm sure you will uh, enjoy meeting him, he's a, a lovely chap and um, he'll be part of your, your care here at Stirling. I look forward to seeing you soon. That's great, thanks now John.